In this video we will review how to define properties for your project. Project properties help you convey the most important information about issues in your project, assign them by selecting appropriate values in issue menu, and quickly filter and multi-edit issues with shared properties. The properties can be defined and edited only by users with project leader role and only in BIM Collab Cloud Project Settings tab. Start from the Project Settings tab. Here you have available multiple project properties that will help you define the required information for your project. The Team Members tab provides an overview of added team members that will participate in the project. You can add new team members by clicking on the plus icon or remove members from the project by selecting the minus icon. Members can be restored at any time by turning on the Remove Team Members toggle and clicking the Restore icon under the user's name. You can also edit each team member's individual settings by clicking on their name. Milestones are used to define specific goals or stages in a project. To add a milestone, click on the plus icon. When creating a milestone, give it a clear name and define a start and completion date. These dates will be used to highlight issues which are beyond the due date. You can create as many milestones as needed for the project. You can also select if milestone can be assigned to issues by activating the assignable toggle. Milestones that are assignable will be available in the issue drop down menu. You can edit milestone information at any time during the project by clicking on the milestone name and saving after the changes. The next tab, Areas, can be used to group issues per their physical location in the project, for example, per specific sections of the building or per issues located on same building floors. To add a new area, click on the plus icon. Here you can define a clear name for the area and assign an area owner from the previously added team members. When an area owner is defined, any new issue that is assigned to this area will also be by default assigned to this team member. The next available tab, Labels, can be used to label and define any metric needed in the project. By default, labels are named per typical project disciplines. You can rename existing labels by clicking on a label name and create new ones by clicking on the plus icon or remove labels by clicking on the minus icon. The next tab, Types, is used to distinguish between different types of issues. Predefined types values are clash, fault, inquiry, issue, remark, and request. However, you can rename existing types by clicking on a type name and create new ones by clicking on the plus icon or remove types by clicking on the minus icon. You can also select one of the types to be a default type in case a type is not selected in the issue properties. On to the priorities tab, which is used to communicate how urgent it is to resolve an issue. By default, there are five priorities. Critical, major, normal, minor, and on hold. Unlike other values, the number of priorities are fixed, and none can be added or removed. However, the name of the priority can be changed by clicking on the name, and renaming as needed. Good to know is that the third priority in the list will always be a default priority, in case a priority type is not selected in the issue properties. Groups and custom fields are features available in Connected and Enterprise Plan, and will be reviewed in the next video. Now that you've learned how to define project properties, watch the next video to learn more about the BIM Collab workflow.